Hello, YouTubes. I'm back again with more Second Strike. Um, now, there is a reason for the delay. Okay, one, Amazon was exhausting me. Um, yeah, I'll go back to this. Amazon was exhausting me. I work at an Amazon warehouse. Um, two, I um, got a new game. I got SMT5. Shin Megami Tensei 5, sorry. That just came out on the Switch, and I've been playing that. So, that kind of has been distracting me. And, three, I had a save state for this point, so I updated Dolphin, right? All my save states don't work anymore. Which means I can't use the save state I had to go back to get those two spatulas. Because I was going to save it for the end. But now I can't. So, the two spatulas I got, which were... This one, come back with the cruise bubble. I got a sock there as well. And it was the, the Sand Mountain, the first spatula in Planktopolis. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'll show how to get those. But I can't obviously, like, get them, get them, you know? So, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try, but I'll do that later. Okay, so now we're back here. There we go. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Did I move the mouse? It probably won't actually go away, it'll probably go into the black void. Those robots didn't respond, did they? They totally did. I'm gonna die. I don't have that annoying missile dude. Shooting at me constantly. Am I gonna make that jump? Okay, I did make that jump. Where am I supposed to take this? Well, I can't take it back. Maybe I just throw it? Well, that did not work. Okay, so that didn't work. How am I supposed to get this back here? Am I just supposed to... Oh, you can make that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck do I do this? There we go. Okay, now we can get that spatula. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the crusty crab. Hi, kitty. I'm talking to my dog. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. Hello, dog. Okay, we're gonna go to SpongeBob because we need SpongeBob for two things. Everyone's favorite rings. Yeah, we're doing rings today. Hello, dog. God, the straight, the straight noise pollution in this one. Okay. Okay, 
What's this for? I don't think for shiny objects. Or do I have to kill this thing? Probably have to kill this thing, right? Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I'm not good at the bungee. No, okay. That was weird. Yeah, nothing spawned. Weird. Okay, let's do this. Oh, uh, alright. Oh my god, this is what it's gonna be like? Okay. Go immediately down. Oh! Okay, that's, that's, that's a little bit high. Okay. It's down, down, down. Okay. This might be a long episode, just gonna warn you. It's rings. It's, it's rings again. Y you know. Y you know my struggle with rings. My god, that's not, that's not easy. That's not forgiving. Uh, oh my god, this is not okay. Ooh, okay, I made that. Okay. That actually counted? What? might be here a while. What? You can actually just skip past it? What? That's kind of weird. Okay, so you can just skip past rings if you miss. Because I think I went through the spot where the other ring was, and the game went like, oh, it's there. Hmm. Well, that's a glitch. Fuck. Those vines block you? That's annoying. Um... This is not easy. I actually hate these ring challenges. Like, why was this the one thing you had to bring to the movie game? The one thing. Why was this the one thing you had to bring for movie game? The stupid ring challenges. Okay, so now that I know that I can just skip ring, skip some rings, it's a little bit more manageable. And then I don't have to hit every single ring. If I miss a ring, I can just keep going. I hate that the ring, the outside doesn't count. It's like a solid object. That's really annoying. I don't know if that's just because that's how he had to pro the the creator had to. He slash the creator had to program it. I keep saying he, but it's probably when it might not be he. Oh my god. I know I'm not even close. I gotta loop around the whole fucking plot map. the brand the whole goddamn map Oh, it eventually gave it to me. I just technically like skip ahead.
Ah, uh, damn it. It wouldn't give me any more rings. Stop giving me, stop killing me on the top parts. I would really appreciate if the rings were a bit more forgiving. With like their hitboxes. Cause ah, uh, some of these turns are really hard to do with the curve, with the steering on this. I guess that's the point, right? They're hard to do. Hi, kitty. Hi. Ooh. Oh my god, that's really hard. I guess really hard. Went the wrong way. I'd love to be able to hear, be able to think though. But this wasn't near a waterfall, so I wouldn't get noise pollution. Also, you can activate multiple rings at once. It's kind of funny. What did I even blow up on? I really gotta change those vines so you can't just smash it down. Fuck the rings. Never bring this charge back, please. I hate the rings. I know some people like them, but I do not. I hate them. Mainly because I can't do it. I'm not good at it. Every other challenge so far I've been able to do, like, fine, except the rings. Okay. Okay, that's... You have to go down. Like, if the top part was just, wasn't like, wasn't like that, right? If the top part was just like, you could travel through, it'd be so much easier like it is in the normal one. Like in the ones in the movie game. But it's so much harder because they're solid. Because the rings are not supposed to be like that. The rings are supposed to be like, be able to be traveled through the whole time. That was probably like a limitation, right? So like, you had to, like, they, pro they might have had to do it like that.
See, cause like that should have been dual. That should have counted, right? But I hit the I hit the top of it, which is really annoying. Like, see, now I hit the side. I tried my best. That was a really good run though. I think it was like halfway through. these rings. the other rings. Okay, I had another ring. Another ring. I lost complete track. I'm gonna keep going. This might be like a 90 minute episode. I'm just warning you guys. this stop making the bottom and top just don't make the bottom and top solid please my sanity can't handle this much longer up on is it just me that like is it just me hitting the like edge but like sometimes it doesn't count sometimes it doesn't work but sometimes it like blows me up on some of them so it's like the rules aren't consistent Yeah, like how much? I... 
Like, see, I just blew up there randomly. Like, I could have made it, but it just killed me. Okay, it randomly blew me up again. See, like, I should have made that. That's what annoys me about this, it's just like, the stupid boundaries on it. Just blowing up your missile. I know it's probably like I, I know don't know much about programming, right? So like it's, I'm, I I feel bad for complaining, right? I know the person who made this put a lot of time and effort into it, but it is really annoying to play. I hate being the bad guy, like. That's not giving me one at all. Okay. And the game is like, you gotta do it legit. I guess I guess maybe the videos haven't been doing well because people don't like Kelp Forest, and that's fair. Calm Force is not probably one of the worst or levels in the game. Right, let me... Yes, thank you, I know I lost. Calm Force is definitely one of those mediocre levels. It's one of my least favorite, only because like I never really did it as a kid. Like, I never really did Kelp Forest as a kid. I can never really do it. Mainly because I was an idiot. I was a complete dumbass as a kid. Like, so, for example, I could never beat Yoshi's Island for the DS. That shit was impossible for me. Until way later, when I was, like, in, like... Did I not hit it? Um, <sighs> um, anyway, yeah. Yoshi's Island DS was, like, impossible for me. There was, like, a waterfall level in, like, the beginning of the third world. We had to, like, it was a scrolling stage. I could never beat it as a kid. It took me forever to beat it. And then it was, like, every other stage past that was, like, several deaths. Like, it required such... It's had so many spikes. It's annoying. I liked the game as a kid, though. Strangely enough, because I was fucking stubborn. Um, for this game, I could never do the sneaking. So I never did sleepy time stuff till afterwards. So I usually just did Sand Mountain fully and... Oh yeah, and I could never beat the, um, Mermelayer. Oh yeah, that was a thing. So the murmur layer was interesting. I was so stupid, I could never do the murmur layer. So I, as a kid, I never did the, I never did pass the first two parts of the murmur layer. So 
So what I mean by that is you know how the first area is like the intro area, right? And then the second area is like the huge cave where you help Mermaid, uh, Barnacle Boy with like his feet, like his foot rub and Mermaid Man with his TV. Um, yeah, uh, that part I never got past because I literally didn't know how to do the wall. Like, I don't know if I couldn't just wall jump it. I couldn't wall jump the second one. I don't know if I just didn't hit the buttons or what, but I thought I hit the buttons and then I was super confused. Um, so yeah, then after that. Um, fuck, uh, so yeah, Yoshi's Island DS I can never beat. Mario Party 4 was a straight dumb ass. Although I did, I did play it just for friend, fun with my siblings. Um, oh, oh wait, he was a, he was a real dumb ass when I was a kid. Uh, in Pokemon, like, I only used, like, one Pokemon for most of the game. So in, in Pearl, which was I think my first one, yeah, I mainly only used, um, Infernape, which made, uh, and then I lost to, I couldn't beat the champion, uh, cause I lost to Lucian so much, and then I lost to Cynthia a bunch. The, the, the funny thing was, I was so bad at Diamond and Pearl, I was so bad at Pearl, Pokemon Pearl, that I actually f got the National Pokedex. Because I found all 100 of the, I found all the Sinnoh Pokemon. I actually got that before I beat the champion. I believe you can do that in Diamond and Pearl. I actually got that before I beat the champion because I could not beat Cynthia, and I lost all my health on Lucian. Oh, now it stops me. Um, another dumbass moment was uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, right? So, in that game, you, you play as a Pokemon, right? And you go through dungeons. And you can use moves with, like, Y, with the Y button. You can, like, pull up your move list and use them. So, I'm a kid, right? So, I'm, like, eight. So, beep, beep. So, I'm, like, eight, right? Um get rid of the noise. Uh, so I'm like an eight-year-old kid. I'm going through it, you know, having fun. And then, oh, fuck, I need to stretch. Sorry. Um, so I'm an eight-year-old kid. So I'm like eight, nine, in elementary school. I'm an idiot. So I decide, so I play the game, and I forget, I think I use moves initially, right? Or I just, okay, don't, kitty, don't step on that. Okay, don't step on that. I have to lick my dog, lick my hand. Hey, kitty, look. Over here. Over there. Oh, she won't lick it. Damn it. Alright. I was trying to get her to lick something else so, like, she wouldn't be on my, like... She's soft. Um, anyway, so basically, what was I was saying, Mystery Dungeon, right? So I, I don't know if I forgot how to learn moves or if I knew them, but I just, like, I, I either forgot or I never learned. I just ignored the tutorial. That might have been the case, but anyway. I spent the entire game, the entirety of the main game, just pressing A to attack. Now, if you don't know, Pressing A to attack a mystery dungeon does a generic attack that costs no, no resources, right? The problem is, that attack does minimal damage. Like, absolutely no damage. 
and you get less experience because you get because you get bonus experience from using moves to deal damage. If you KO Pokemon by using moves in Mystery Dungeon, at least in Darkness and Time, you got um you got uh, extra experience. So I literally went through the entire game not getting like getting a severe lack of experience because. Because I just didn't click A for everything. So every fight was like an hours long struggle. Groudon in that game was like hours. It took me hours. I would stay up late at night and on my DS and hide behind the covers and like play it and try to beat it. I would try and beat it. And I would get in trouble because I'd be up like super late at night during school nights. And yeah, like Dialga took me a while, mainly because Primal Dialga in that game, the final boss, is actually hard. Because he has a map-wide attack called War of Time, which is like Dialga's signature move in the base games, in the normal games. But yeah, he can spam it, and Roar of Time basically one-shots to two-shots you at any point in the game. Because you're like normal starters, and you have like no defenses or health. Because the weird thing about Mystery Dungeon, right, is that past a certain point, you just get plus one in every stat. You just get plus one in two stats, plus one in the other. You have plus one in half your stats, plus one in the other half. It's really dumb. I don't like it. I don't like how that's what leveling devolved into, because I just noticed that, like, that's what leveling devolved into. The u levels weren't unique, it was just, oh, it's just these stats. Like, oh, okay. That's kind of lame. How'd that not count? I don't know. But yeah. I mean, I gotta figure out something to talk about. It's gonna be like an hour-long episode of just doing the fucking rings. I need to upload a video of this today. Alright, we'll make this.